Welcome to the Four Wing Cold Lake Origami Tutorial. Today we're going to be making a paper crane. First, let's learn the history of origami. Paper was first invented in China around 105 AD and was brought to Japan by monks in the 6th century. Handmade paper was a luxury item only available to few, and paper folding in ancient Japan was strictly for ceremonial purposes, often religious in nature. By the Edo period, paper folding in Japan had become recreational as well as ceremonial, often featuring multiple cuts and folds. It came to be regarded as a new form of art that was enabled by the advent of paper both mass-produced and more affordable. The Japanese word origami itself is a compound of two smaller Japanese words, ori, root verb oru, meaning to fold, and kami, meaning paper. Sadako and Thousand Cranes One of the most famous origami designs is the Japanese crane. The crane is suspicious in Japanese culture. Legend says that anyone who folds 1,000 paper cranes will have their heart's desire come true. The origami crane, orizuru in Japanese, has become a symbol of peace because of this belief and because of a young Japanese girl named Sadako Sasaki. Sadako was exposed to the radiation of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima as an infant, and it took its inevitable toll on her health. She was then a hibakusha, an atomic bomb survivor. By the time she was 12 in 1955, she was dying of leukemia. Her classmate told her about the legend, so she decided to fold 1,000 origami cranes so that she could live. However, when she saw that the other children in her ward were dying, she then wished instead for world peace and an end to suffering. A statue of Sadako was erected after her death in the Hiroshima Peace Park near the bomb site. Every year, 10 million cranes are sent to the Hiroshima Peace Park and placed near her statue. A group of 1,000 paper cranes is called Senbazuru, and here on the left is a picture of the main statue in the Peace Park and another one on the right. Other than creating wishes, how else can we display cranes? You can use them as a mobile for gift wrapping, you can use them in a lantern, you can put them on your Christmas tree, and you can use them for event settings. Now let's try folding a paper crane of our own. So let's make an origami paper crane. And it looks like this when you're done. So you can either follow along with your instruction sheet, or you can just follow along with me here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our origami. I went ahead and just pre-folded it, but I'll show you every single step. So you're going to pick your color. You got one or the other. Uh, any color that you want your origami to be is going to be the outside. So this one was purple with yellow on the other, and I wanted it to be purple. So we'll just say we want our crane to be blue. So he's going to be on the out. So the blue, sorry, is going to be on the outside from now on. So. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the X going on our origami. So we will fold it down. And then you're going to open it back up. And you'll do the other side. And folding that. Open it back up. And then we want to get the line going through the middle. So then we just fold it hot dog style. And then you're going to open it back up. And then the next step that we're going to be doing is where we're going to be folding it inward like this to make a diamond. So this is kind of a tricky step, but once you get it, it's not too difficult for the next time you want to make a paper crane. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it this way. And you want to visualize moving these two pieces in with the top coming down. So I like to do, we get a strong edge on the left hand side that's already folded and then I would fold this one in and then push this side over and you have to do some extra folding just to make the creases really strong. And then you take the other side, push it down and then over, crease it and then you push the top down. Okay? So this is the bottom here and this is the top folded. Looks the same on both sides. Okay? 
Then we're going to put it down and then we're gonna be folding these sides in. So I like to say, making an ice cream cone. So fold this one in and then we're gonna fold the other side. And your creases absolutely don't have to be perfect at all. It's gonna end up looking like a crane regardless. And then I like to, well, how I was taught growing up when I lived in Japan, they say just in Japanese culture, when you greet someone, you bow. So if you imagine this with the ice cream cone and then you have the arms open, you say hello and you bow. And then you crease that at the top and then you open it here. And then we're going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. So do your ice cream cone. And then open the arm and then bow. Funny but easy to remember how to do the steps. And then you're gonna open it back up. And then we're gonna take these, I'll put this up here. We're gonna take these, we're gonna open them up and it's gonna open up to a, um, a longer diamond. So that's why we had the top here folded so it's easier to crease it. So now we're gonna open it here, okay? And we're going to be taking, I like to take the side here, crease it. You can let this one lift even if you need to. And crease, does not have to be perfect, mine never are. And then the same with this side. It's okay if it overlaps a little bit too. I believe this is gonna be the bottom of the wing so you wouldn't even see it. Okay, not perfect, but totally fine. And then we're gonna flip it, do the same thing on the other side. And we're just creasing these in. It does take a lot of practice to get like really perfect origami, but it's still fun to do. And then we're gonna do this one here. Oh gosh, hold on. There we go, okay. Kind of fix this side real quick. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and that's fine, because when we flap this down, it's gonna be the top of the wing, so it doesn't have to be, again, perfect. So just like that last step where we folded in with the ice cream, we're here, we're gonna be folding it in again, and it's gonna be a smaller look and ice cream cone. So with this is the bottom and this is the top. Fold these in. Fold this one in. And then you're gonna flip it, do the other side. Fold this one in and the same for this side. Okay, so now this is where we're at, where this is the, the wing, this is the bottom of the wing. Here's the other wing, and then this is the body on the inside. These here are gonna be uh, either the head or the tail. And so the easiest way to do this, to get these folded, is if you imagine like a, a page in a book, we're gonna turn the page. I like to push these together inward on this side and this side, push them in, and then turn the page. Same on this side. We're doing it like this. And then we're gonna crease it. You don't have to crease this too much. Creasing it here at the base. And then I like to pull this one up. And you'll see where the crease stops because you can feel where the, the bottom of the body is. Flip it. And the same on this side. 
Now, you can pick which one you want to be, the head or the tail. I like to pick the side that I did not fold the nicest to be the head because you can fold that one down. So we'll make this one the head. The crease wasn't too pretty. So fold this one down and then this one, we're just gonna be folding it in. So we're gonna open that, that book back open, return the page again. So with the same, same step, we're gonna open it and kind of fix the tail in best you can. And we'll put the head down, fix the nose if you need to. Increase it. And then pull the wings down. And you can even fold these down a little bit too if you need. Now, here is your crane. I have one more step for you to make. Oh, first off, let's fix the tail a little bit. He looks a little sad. So, oh gosh, here we go. So, one more step for you. It does look done, but I like to puff up the body a little bit. So if you look at the bottom, there's a hole in the bottom. And the best way to puff up the body is if you just blow here. So, and then here's the body. This one has a sad tail, but he looks good next to the others. And there is your origami paper crane.